Welcome everybody to this year's uh, briefing for the X Hammer paddleboard race uh, occurring this Sunday in Exmouth. Obviously for Covid rules and regulations uh, a lot of the things that we're going to be doing this year are a little bit different than we have done in previous years. So to start with there isn't going to be uh, an actual briefing on the beach before the race starts so the briefing is now. So uh, if you've got any questions please put some put your questions in the comments underneath the video and then we'll try and answer those uh, before the race starts. So the uh, registration is going to start between 8 and 8.30 on the beach here and we are going to set up some tables just in front of the new water sports centre which is being built. So there'll be three separate registration zones. So the 14 foot, the 12 foot sixes and the round nose classes will all have separate uh, tables to do their registration. So before you register you'll probably want to park your car. So there's car parks uh, on the other side of the water sports centre uh, and there's more car parks down on the seafront as well. So park in one, of the, in one of those places. So the thing to remember for this Sunday is that as well as the paddleboard race there is also quite a big running race happening on Exmouth seafront. Um, so we just need to be aware of that uh, because the car parking will probably be quite busy. So park your cars. Uh, the, the registration will start at 8 o'clock and will go between 8 and 8.30 here on the beach. Once the, once the registration is done, can you please try to observe social distancing between different competitors? You may not have seen people for a long time and I know it's, it's um, going to be good to catch up with people but we want to try to observe social distancing. It's the first big event that's happened in Exmouth since Covid has started. Just make sure that we're Covid compliant please. Uh, once you've picked up your race vests and the rest of your bag from the registration the, you'll then need to get yourself ready to go out on the water for the start. So we aim to have the start at nine o'clock. So this year we're going to have two starts. We're going to have the first start will be for the 14 foot class, the 12 foot six classes um, and that will, that will start at nine o'clock. Okay so the, the starting sequence will be five minutes before the start of the, of the first start, so the, the, all the uh, racing boards 14 foot and 12 foot six, the red flag will go up. So we will raise the red flag five minutes before the start and there will also be a Hooter. At one minute before the start, the red the, the red flag will be lowered, and there will be another hooter. And then at the start, the red flag will go up again, and there will be the starting gun. So ru running through that once more, five minutes, the flag goes up. One minute before the start, the flag goes down and on the start the flag goes up and that will be the start uh, for the first start. The round nose class is going to start immediately five minutes after uh, the race boards go. So for the round nose class once the race boards go the red flag will go back up and that will be your start of your five minute countdown and then your start will be in exactly the same manner. So at one minute before your start, the red flag will go down and then at the start of the round nose class, the flag will go back up again and there'll be another hooter. So that's the starting sequence. If we have any, we, we're going to be starting the race in basically the main channel here in Exmouth. So there's potentially boats going in and out. So we need to be aware of that and we've got a couple of flags that we're going to use if we've got trouble with the start, say there's a big boat coming through the start line or there's just issues. So the first thing that we will do is we will put up the red and white flag. That will be that the start has been postponed uh, and if we have a major disaster we will then put up the black and white flag which means the start has been cancelled. Uh, if, we, if we postpone the start, then we will then go back 
and restart the starting sequence with the red flag going up indicating five minutes to the start. So the start line is going to be, again, it's going to be directly in front of the Water Sports Centre and there will be two flags, on, one on the beach here and there will be another flag on the sandbank opposite and that will constitute the start line with the flags being raised on the beach. So the person that's doing the start, the start officer, will be doing that on the beach. Hopefully that's clear. The start of the race will be going into the river. So we're going to start paddling in towards the, the, uh, the marina and the river. The, start, the low tide time on Sunday is at 10 o'clock, so we're starting at 9. So we're actually going to be paddling against the tide the first bit. So we're going to paddle into the river against the tide. Um, and so you'll be taking off and starting going that way. When the race finishes, what's going to happen is that there's going to be, you're going to, the finish line will be on the shore rather than on the water. So when you come back to the finish, you'll need to pick up your board, run up the beach and pass through the finish line uh, and then give your number to the people that are going to be registering the finishers. The important thing to remember this time is that we are aiming to do the presentations pretty much straight away. So after the first people have finished the race, the first three in each category, we're going to aim to do the presentations straight away on the beach. So if you're winning or in the first three, don't disappear, stay to one side and we're going to just do that, do, do the presentation just then for you. A couple of safety things. Uh, what we need to do is make sure everyone's wearing a leash, please. And with your race bib, can you please wear that outside of any buoyancy aids or anything else that you're wearing so that we can easily identify you and see your number. Please keep your eyes open for other boats, particularly the ferry and the taxi and stuff, as we don't have exclusive uh, use on the river this weekend. Okay, so we're now out on the water and what we thought we'd do is just take you for a, a run through on the course. So for the leading uh, paddle boarders, finding the course should be pretty straightforward. Uh, we're going to have uh, a red boat out on the water called the Three Gs and they will be the pathfinder so you just simply need to follow that boat and they will show you the way around the course. So we've started off uh, down there on the seafront and you've, you've now paddled all the way around and we're paddling up towards the dock entrance so that's in front of us here. Uh, we've got Liam here helping us out. The main thing to remember is we're going to be following what's known as a channel course. So we're going to be observing the channel markers throughout the whole course. So as we're going into the river, we're going to have all the red boys are going to be on our left side and the green boys on our right side. So after the start, the first boy that you're going to come to is going to be the red boy that's off the entrance of the docks here. So you've got the red boy there ahead of us and they've got the slipway over here. So you're going to go keep that, left, keep that red boy on your left side as we're going into the river. Over here we've got Dawlish Warren, so that'll also be on your left side as Dawlish over there. So once you come into the river, you need to bear around to the left, so you'll have Dawlish Warren on your left hand side and follow the main channel up up river. So this is our first turning point. You come into the river and you come up to this boy here, number 13 boy, which is the green one, the first green one you get to. And that is your turning mark in the river. So come in and make your way around that boy. For all the boy roundings, we're going to go round with the boy on your right side, on your starboard side. So every boy on your right hand side when you're going round them. So once you've made your way uh, into the river and gone round number 13 boy, it's now time to go back out along the seafront. So this time, you, as you're going out, the red boys will be on your right hand side and the green boys will now be on your left side. So 
out on the seafront, out this way and past where you started from. So once you've gone par back past the water sports centre and the start line, uh, the channel then starts to make a turn more towards to the right or to the south and then again you just follow the green and the red boys out to sea and to the next turning mark. Okay, well hopefully it's not as windy as this when we actually come to do the race. Um, so we head out on the seafront and the, the next turning boy that you've got is the last green boy that you come to. It's number one boy and it's that green boy just there. Once we've gone out to sea, gone round the, the last green boy, number one boy, then we're going to head back towards the water sports centre. Now the good news is, is that if you're in the round nose class, this is where it ends for you and this is the end of your race. So back to the beach and through the finish line. For the other classes, the 12 foot 6 and the 14 foot classes, we're going to give you a bit more pain I'm afraid. So it's back up into the river, back up round number 13 boy, the first green boy that you went to back then back along the seafront and to the finish line. Follow the red boat, that'll be the one that's in the front the whole time and you shouldn't go too far wrong.